Hello and welcome. My name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads where I read a lot of different books that you probably have never heard of. So today is going to be my June wrap up. I'm going to do it the same as last month and next month I will be doing like a vlog version of it. But let's get started. I read 10 books in June. Not as much as I wanted to but Due to circumstances, I just couldn't really read a lot. But um, yeah, again, let's get started. So the first book I read in June was This Is Going To Hurt by Adam K. This is a non-fiction book by Adam K himself. He narrates the audiobook, which I listened to also. And basically about his experience being a junior doctor. And yeah, it's a very good book, very funny, um, and yeah, I basically loved it a lot, um, and I gave it five stars. Next book that I read was What If It's Us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera. This is the first book in the What If It's Us series. I think the next book has come out pretty recently. And this book is about this guy called someone. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. He is called Arthur. Um, and Arthur is staying in New York for the summer and he is doing an internship. And one day he is at the post office and he meets this guy called Bem. And yeah, they have a little bit of a sort of chemistry and author basically decides to find Ben again and yeah you follow that uh, I really enjoyed this book uh, I yeah thought it was well written I did like the audiobook as well um, it didn't feel very special um, because yeah other books that I've read with like a gay romance I just really like better uh, but yeah I think it was still a very good book and I gave it Four stars. Then the next book I read, I've got here, is uh, Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. This is the first book in the Bill Hodges series trilogy. And this one I read for the Buzz Wordathon. Um, and yeah, basically, this book is about this serial, well, not a serial killer, a killer who basically, well, yeah, <laughs> a killer who um drives with uh, mercedes into a group of people and kills um a lot of them and bill hodges hasn't found that killer uh, still after like years and uh, he is retired but there is just one case just yeah um that is haunting him basically and Due to circumstances and things happening, he is going to find this Mercedes killer. Yeah, I thought this was a very, very good book. Um, I really enjoyed that you have the perspective of Bill Hodges, but also of the Mercedes killer, which I really enjoy when books do that. Um, I also think it adds something else to a thriller. Because it isn't really super thrilling because you already know more things. But it's also pretty suspenseful. So yeah, I just really enjoyed it. And I gave it uh, four stars. Then uh, the next book I read was uh, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabowski. Um, this one I read for my re-reading The Rainbow Challenge. So please go watch that video if you want to hear my thoughts on this one then the next book i read was live more sloth by tim collins so this book is like a sort of self-help book with um, advice on living more like a sloth but basically just live more just easy and relaxed and stuff like that I thought it wasn't like a very new idea or very new book or anything, but I just really enjoyed it. Um, 
yeah, there were like a couple of facts about sloth in there and just the way it was told, I just really liked it. So I gave it four stars, but again, it doesn't, it isn't really like new or something. So please go into that knowing. Then the next book I read was Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee. This is the uh, first book in the sidekick, sidekick Squad. So this book is about, um, again, names, my god. If I see it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course, but uh, let me see. Jessica, or Jess. Um, Jess basically grow, grows up in this family where um, yeah, her parents are superheroes. Um, which is a lot of fun, I think. And um, her parents have also uh, villains that they're uh, fighting against, sort of. But they need to keep their identity secret. And Jessica goes to do an internship. And apparently she is doing this internship for these supervillains. Um, and yeah, just a little bit of uh, a thing there. This book is very diverse, which I really liked. Uh, and um, yeah, but I didn't really enjoy the story as much as I hoped. Uh, let me see what I wrote in my review. Uh, yeah, the romance was a little bit too much in the story for me. Uh, it was a little bit, yeah, felt a little bit out of place. And I also just don't really like romances too much, but if it's done well, I can like it, but this was just a little bit too much for me. Um, but yeah, I did really enjoy like the superhero aspect and all of the characters. Um, so yeah. Then the next book I read was uh, The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the third book in the Pop War series, which I then finished the series, which yes. So, um, if you don't know, the Poppy War, I have talked about, um, of course, for a couple of months because I've been reading the series. But the Poppy War is about Rin, and Rin lives in this uh, pretty poor province of, like, sort of a fantasy kind of China. Um, this uh, fictional fan yeah, fantasy kind of history of China, which I thought was very cool. And Rin um, decides that she wants to live a different life than her foster parents have set her out to have. And she's going to learn to be like this soldier. Uh, so she needs to do this test for that. And um, she gets into this academy to learn to be a soldier. So that's mainly what the first book is about. And um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything more. But I have heard that a lot of people did not like The Burning God, but I really enjoyed it. I think it was the best of the series. Um, I think like the complexities of the characters was more in this one and I really like felt for them. And um, yeah, I just really liked that. And it was also pretty gruesome, which I, I enjoy. Um, and the story was also just very good. Um, I did like the ending sort of, but yeah, I could understand why the author made that choice. It could also have gone differently, but yeah, I don't really see how. So I, I understand the choice. And yeah, I thought it was just a very good series and I highly recommend it if you like fancy. Then the next book I read was this one. Um, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funke. This is the second book in the Ink World trilogy. Um, this was the third reread for me of this book. I think it was the third. Um, so, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Basically, I read it throughout the month because with some rereads, I just want to savor the book or something. And it's also pretty long. So um, that's why I, yeah, I read it over the month. So uh, this series is about this girl called Maggie. And in the first book, uh, you follow her um when yeah there is this mystery around her father because her father loves books but he never reads to her and one day there is this mysterious stranger coming to them 
and basically like mystery and chaos and shoes. Um, that's mainly what the first book is about and the second book I'm not going to say anything of course but it's more um, on the fantasy side which I really enjoy so therefore this one is even more like better than the first book I think um, yeah I just really love this again and um, I'm looking forward to reading the third book in the next month then uh, the next book I read was um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, this one I listened to the audiobook, which was very good. And yeah, I heard a lot of great things about this book. A lot of people love this. It's their favorite. Um, and this book is about this woman called Monique. And Monique is a journalist. She isn't like very famous or anything, but just a normal journalist working for this um, magazine, I think magazine. And one day there is um, someone who asks her to interview Evelyn Hugo um, for this piece for the magazine. And Monique is like, why did she chose me? So that's basically the mystery that is throughout the whole book. And then she goes to Evelyn Hugo and basically Evelyn asks her to write her biography. And yeah, that biography you hear throughout the story and you also follow Monique a little bit in between. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed this. Um, I thought it would, would be more of a mystery which husband she would... Um, yeah, was her favorite or anything, but that wasn't really a mystery. Um, I also really liked that this was pretty diverse. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed it, but it didn't give me like the wow factor that a lot of people had. The ending was a little bit too much for me. Um, yeah, if you know the ending, you might guess what I'm talking about, but there were just a couple of different things that were a little bit too much. I can't say a lot about it, but um, how the mystery ended I did like, but just the story itself was a little bit. But yeah, I really liked it and I gave it four stars. And then the last book I read was Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Renegades series trilogy. Um, so the first book is about this girl called Nova and Nova um, is part of the anarchists and the anarchists are basically the super villains. I have been reading superhero books, super villains. And you also follow Adrian, who is part of the superheroes and Nova basically wants to destroy the superheroes. And that's what you follow in the first book and also in the second book and probably in the third book. <laughs> and I did enjoy the uh, first book, was pretty good, but the second book, um, yeah, I didn't super enjoy. I also skimmed a lot of the end because I this was a body read for me and I did want to finish the book, but yeah, I sort of forced myself to finish it. I did give it three stars, but that's probably a little bit generous of me. Uh, but yeah, what I didn't really like about this one was that there wasn't anything happening basically and the romance again was a very big part of the plot and it was just very very annoying to me and there were just some things that just do, do, don't add up in this book which was also with the first book but this one was even worse um, I really really hope that the third book will be like this great yeah, ending uh, but yeah we shall see uh, and yeah, that was the last book that I read in June. Let me know down below what you have been reading in June. Did you find any favorites? Um, maybe not, <laughs> but let me know. And yeah, I really hope you liked this video. So please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And I will see you later.